Hi, welcome back to another episode of Just Your Average Maker. I'm Amelia, and in today's episode, we'll be making the very trendy unicorn cake. I'm a little late to this trend, it's been a while, around a little while. If you haven't seen them, just Google unicorn cake. Um, most of them are multicolored, mine's going to be blue and white because it's my favorite color combo. And that's it, that's what we're doing today. We're decorating a blue and white unicorn cake. So, let's get on to what you'll need to decorate your cake today. Stuff you're going to need for today's cake. There's a lot going on. We have some fondant over here. I've got white fondant, darker blue fondant, and a lighter darker blue fondant, if that makes sense. And what those are going to be is the white and the darker blue are going to be the unicorn horn, and then the lighter blue and the white are going to be the ears. I also have my cake over here. It's already been stacked, chilled, leveled, doweled, the whole shebang. Um, so basically it's super prepped and ready to go. I have three different shades of blue frosting here as well as white frosting. I have different blue sprinkles and then I also have even more, more blue frosting with a tip for writing on the eyes and a star tip for doing our swirly swirls. Some sparkle gel icing, I'm not sure if I'll use it or not. And then this hefty bag and this tape are going to be my makeshift piping bag for all of these colors. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And our dowel is going to support our unicorn horn. So for our makeshift piping, if you have a real piping bag, by the way, just skip over this step. If you don't, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reinforce the corner with some tape so that it's stronger. And then I'm gonna cut it this way and then flip the bag to cut it this way. And then I might even do a third one just to get a nice tip in there. So that's what I'm about to do and show you guys. I've actually never tried this before, so I really hope it works. If this piping bag contraption doesn't quite work, then uh, we'll figure something else out. But for now, we're going to load up our bag now with our three different colors of blue icing and also the white icing. I want it to kind of swirl together, so I'm just gonna pile them in here. And hope for the best. By putting it in a cup, it's gonna help us load the bag up. It's kind of what you would do with a real piping bag, but you know. I said it but I am just using canned frosting and I just use cake mix for the cake because I wanted to focus on the decorating aspect today got our piping bag all loaded up with our different shades and then push it down towards the tip here and then we're gonna set this off to the side until we're ready for the frosting bit and next we're going to make our ears and our horn. Let's start with the ears because I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Um, and for the ears, the main part's gonna be white and then the inner part's gonna be this blue color. So I'm gonna start with my white and I'll grab my rolling pin in a second and roll this out to an even level and then I will cut my ears in hopefully an ear-like shape. <gasps> no! Well, we'll just use the other side. Oops! And the nice thing about these ears is I don't actually want them to be perfectly matching because I don't think a real unicorn's ears would perfectly match, but... Oh, our ears! <laughs> and now, we'll cut this blue to go in the middle of those. Get this out of the way. And 
those are a little inner parts of the ears. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna get a little bit of water and dab that on those to attach our ear parts. Set our ears off to the side and we're on to our horn. For our horn, like I said before, we're gonna use this dowel to center it. We've got the darker blue, and then I'm gonna wind in some of this white as well. What you're gonna do is just make it into a, and it's okay on this one if it gets some spots of blue because it's mixed with the blue anyway. For the white, it's just gonna be an even snake. When I do the blue, I'm gonna make it fatter at the bottom and thinner at the top. water to attach those to each other. As always, I don't know what I'm doing, so... Well, that looks terrible. Does that look like a unicorn horn? Because I don't think that it does. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't going so well. Surprisingly, I thought the ears would be the hardest part, but like this, this just isn't, uh, isn't happening, huh? I'm gonna set that aside and try again. Well, that looks better. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll use this one instead of this thing. Yeah, this one. Now, the fun part. We get to actually start assembling and decorating the cake. We're gonna start by putting on the horn and the ears. You know what'll help this? A toothpick. Since our horns and ears are on, we're going to take our piping bag we prepared earlier and also our other blue colored icing with the star tip. And we're going to start with some rosettes in the front, or little swirls. We're gonna carry them back around and down like a mane. That'll make more sense once I start doing it. Ooh, I'm nervous for this part. <laughs> as good as I wanted it to, but it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. I'm gonna actually try to do the eyes with the sparkle gel and hopefully I don't screw up the cake. Let's see, I'm gonna trace the eyes first. That's the smart thing to do. To be honest with you, I wish I had just bought like one of these in blue and one of these in white and done it like that because the piping bag trick didn't exactly work and it does look a little bit messy, but it does look better than I thought it would. I want to add a couple, I think, blue, draj are they called drages? I don't know, the big round sprinkles and white ones too, um, just here and there and then we'll be pretty much done. I don't think I'm gonna use any of these, well, you can't even see them, these sprinkles, but a couple of these I think will look nice.
there we have it, our finished blue and white unicorn cake. It's definitely not as tidy and as clean looking as I wanted it to be, but it still turned out pretty cute for my first attempt, I think. That is the end of today's video. We made our unicorn cake. It was pretty darn cute. Unfortunately, what happened after I turned off the camera after finishing it and took some pictures is it promptly fell over. So um, I saran wrapped it and went to lunch because I was frustrated with the fact that it had already knocked over. So here's what happened. I'll probably insert a picture as well. I took off the horn so that I could saran wrap it. Look how sad it looks. Uh, anyway, that's what happened. It fell over. I'm not entirely sure why. My hunch is that because it's really warm here, once I put the horn in, it was too tall to go in my fridge, so I wasn't able to keep cooling it down. And then I also took some pictures of it outside, and I noticed it was leaning pretty bad, so I came back in, and I was going to cut a slice to show you guys. And I turned around after setting it down, and I heard it go... And then, and then it was done. So that's what happened. It knocked over, but it was really cute when it did turn out. So if it's warm where you live, maybe keep an eye on your cakes. They get kind of melty. Um, and yeah, so I'm, I'm attributing it to the hot weather we're having. We're suddenly, all of a sudden, having like 90 degree days here. And it was like 50 and raining last week. So anyway, that's our sad looking unicorn cake now. But let's all remember how cute it was a little bit ago. That's our video though. So if you liked watching this video, go ahead and give it a like, thumbs up, whatever you do. Subscribe to the channel to see more baking videos, candy videos, food related videos in general. And I will see you guys next week. Happy baking. Bye. It kind of looks like if you've been crying and your mascara starts to, starts to come down a little bit. And you look really sad. Yeah, that's how this cake looks. Like a sad, crying unicorn that was wearing mascara.